shorts. Ginger Runner. Hey, what's up everybody? Ethan Newberry here for another GingerRunner.com review. Today, we're reviewing two pairs of shorts, both by Pearl Izumi. We have the Elite Tri Shorts for triathlons, obviously, and the Fly Ultra from Pearl Izumi. These are a running short. Let's start with the Fly Ultra. These guys are awesome. My go-to short. Let's do this. Things I like. They're very light. You barely feel like you're wearing a short. They don't bind you or anything like that. Uh, it's a very lightweight material, moisture wicking. Ooh, good job. Zero chafing. The inner liner, which is this wonderful thing, and it, uh, I don't think I've washed these recently, is extremely comfortable to wear. It doesn't have that diaper feeling that a lot of shorts have. It's not too tight and constrictive in the parts of my nether region. Uh, it's just very, very comfortable short. Form fit. The shorts themselves fit fairly form fitting. They fit my legs very well with the split down the side. You can see that split. Uh, so while you're running, it doesn't get too wide open and it doesn't feel too tight or constrictive. It's a really nice form fit. Good job. Storage. They have a nice zipper pouch along the back here that can fit a couple of gels, easy. Uh, and then they have these wonderful little satchels or whatever on either side. You can stick a couple gels in or what they recommend is a couple gel flasks. You can actually fit the flasks right in there and they're attached to the lining so they don't flop around in there, which is a huge problem I have with other shorts that have those side pockets. And finally, I like the waistband. It's thinner, it's a little bit more minimal than most waistbands on shorts. It's not constrictive, it's not binding, and the draw cord is this nice flat seamed draw cord and it pulls very tight and is very comfortable. The only thing I don't like about these shorts are the color choices. You only get red, or black and uh, I've got the red ones to kind of match my hair it doesn't match at all but I wish they had more they could do so much more with colors so as far as points quality I give these guys five out of five they're an extremely high quality short pearl is in me doesn't skimp on these and it shows good job comfort I give them four out of five again extremely comfortable short my go-to short the only reason why I didn't give it five out of five was because there was one seam it was causing a little bit of chafing during one of my races. Uh, I just snipped that seam a little bit, kind of trimmed it down, and we're all good. Price, I give these shorts three out of five. They're pretty expensive. They're about 65 bucks. I do say it's worth it, but man, if you've got 65 bucks, you could spend it on so many other things. You could go see a movie twice. That's almost double what I would normally pay for a good pair of shorts, which is right around the $30 price range, but even then, that's expensive, so it really depends on what your needs are. You can try them on, See if you like them, and you will, and then buy them. And finally, looks. Three out of five again, uh, just the color choices. I wish they had better colors and uh, maybe some more flash. I like flash. That brings our total to 15 out of 20. Again, this is my go-to short, so don't let the 15 out of 20 deter you. That's still a fantastic score. Um, I'm just being very hard on this short because it's supposed to be so good for $65, and it is. I run in this all the time, and I look forward to when these are my clean pair to run in. So uh, I hope you guys will like them as well. I would go try them out for sure. Pearl Izumi really has a really good pair of shorts here. Really, a really good, really good. Let's move on. These are the Elite Tri Shorts. Take a look at them. Whoa, oh. This is my first, and right now, my only pair of Tri Shorts. I'm still working on that whole swimming part of the triathlon. Just learned last year. So I've been using these all the time in the pool. These are my swimming trunks and I really like them. I'm not used to wearing a tri short. Definitely used to wearing bib shorts or bike shorts that have the really thick chamois. So it took a bit of getting used to for me as it will for anyone just beginning triathlons. Those of you who are more experienced and do them in your sleep. I would be curious what you guys think of this short. I have very little problems with them. So let's do this. Things I like. The short itself is durable. I use this thing in the pool and it even recommends not to use it in chlorinated water, but uh, why? The thing is great. I use it on the bike. I use it running. I just wanted to make sure I tested on all activities and it's just held up well. I like the little added feature of the silicon grippers here in the leg. Uh, some of my bike bibs have them, some don't, but these little, they're little silicon dashes that help the leg stay fit to your quad. And you know what? 
they work. I like that there's a long version available. So this is the, uh, the shorter legged version. The long version is about an inch or two longer than that. I have a couple dislikes with the shorts, but they're small. The shorts themselves, I feel, stretch out a little bit. There's not much compression in them. Uh, I don't believe they're designed to be a compression short in the first place. I do like a bit of compression in my shorts. It makes me feel skinnier. The other dislike is actually this pocket. Now, I don't know if it's common in tri shorts to have a zipper pocket or if that's a problem in salt water and that kind of thing. But the envelope pocket, now that it's kind of stretched out a little bit, I don't feel like it's super secure. Maybe if there's some sort of Velcro or a button or like a snap. While I'm swimming, I don't feel like they're secure in there and I'm constantly thinking about it and I don't want to think about that while I'm swimming because I don't want to drown. So that's, that's that. As for points, quality four out of five. Again, Pearl Izumi really nails it with the quality. All the seams, nothing has frayed, nothing is pilling. Uh, I've thrown this thing in the washer numerous times and it's held up very, very well. Comfort, a very comfortable short, it stays tight, it stays on your body, four out of five. Price, I give this one four out of five. It is fairly expensive, anywhere from 80 to $85, depending on the, the length that you get. You get what you pay for. I do think that applies to bike shorts and especially with this one with this very thin chamois. Uh, but I think it's extremely comfortable and it is quick drying too, which is important. So. Um, I definitely think that you get what you pay for with this one. And finally, looks. I give it three out of five. Again, you don't have any color options. You just get black. There's nothing wrong with straight black. I wear everything black on my bike, like black shorts, black top, you know. Uh, I think it's awesome. Makes me feel like a ninja. They didn't really do much in the way of color. They have their logo on it and stuff like that, but that's that's it. Total score, 15 out of 20 for a tri short. That's fantastic. Again, I'm basing this off of all of my experience only with this tri short. I don't have any other tri shorts. I do wear this in spin classes. The chamois works great for those kind of rides. I've done it for a good 20 or 30 mile ride on my actual bike. It held up holds up very well. If you are into triathlons, Olympic or sprint distances, look into this short. Uh, I can't imagine you would dislike it because it's gray. So that's it. I've got these two pairs of shorts reviewed for you. Thank you very much Pearl Izumi. Uh, you can find either of these products on their website or from any other sports retailer, I'm sure. Again, my name is Ethan Newberry. Thank you so much for watching this gingerrunner.com review. You can find me everywhere on the internet, on Twitter, at The Ginger Runner, on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Ginger Runner, or on my website, gingerrunner.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel on my YouTube, youtube.com slash The Ginger Runner. I have new reviews coming out all the time, including race reports. This is fun, and I hope you're getting out there. I hope you're training. I hope you're racing, and I hope you're drinking beer. See you guys.